Hey guys, I'm John. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about my plane spotting gear, um, the things I use when I go to the airport, basically my setup. I'll be talking to you about my camera, my lenses, I'll even get into my bags. Um, and then right at the end, I'll talk to you a bit about uh, a few tips and tricks that I've figured out while spotting. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm quite an amateur spotter. I've only been spotting for about a month or two. Um, and so this video is aimed more at people who have just started spotting or are thinking of getting into it or people who perhaps are thinking of going spotting on a budget. This might be more for you. Also, I will have all the gear I talk to you about. I'll have it linked in the description below. So do check that out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's start with my camera. I use the Nikon D5600. It's a brilliant camera. I got it just a few weeks ago. It's really light. It's very compact, quite small, which is brilliant for me because I can take it basically anywhere. I was originally going to go for the Nikon D3500, which is the cheaper option, um, but for various reasons ended up with the 5600, which is great because it, you have the added bonus of a touch screen, um, and a flippable screen and a few more focus points. The specs are really great, I'll put some of them on the screen for you. Um, and obviously at a price point of uh, just about £500, it's a really great deal and I highly recommend it for anyone planning to get into plane spotting or just photography in general. It's a brilliant camera, very versatile um, and I highly recommend it. When it comes to lenses, I have two lenses at the moment. Um, I have the kit lens, which came with the Nikon D5600, um, and that's the 18 to 55 millimeter with VR stabilization. Um, it's a brilliant lens with Nikon's new design. It's really compact and small, um, and then you can unlock it to extend it to its usable position. Um, so it only takes up about this much space in my camera bag uh, and that's the, the lens I use on a daily basis um, for normal photography. And then when I head to the airport for some spotting, I use my long lens. So this is the Nikon 70-300mm. Um, there are a few versions of this, so I'll put the exact version on the screen now. This does have VR uh, stabilization. It's great, it extends all the way to 300 millimeters and it's so light and small compared to other um, lenses in its class um, that it once again takes up very little space in my camera bag and it's really light to carry. And it also has an amazing range, up to 300 millimeters. I can catch some awesome shots with this um, of aircraft when they're even very far away. Um, and having that, you know, extra 30 millimeters, you could say, because some other long lenses only go to 100 millimeters, that extra 30, it does make a difference. So I can catch some wide angle, you could say, um, when it comes to uh, these long lenses. Um, but it's brilliant. It's really small, really light, great range and a great price as well. A really important thing to have in your camera gear is a camera bag because you obviously want to protect all your cameras and lenses um, as much as you can and the best way to do that is with a proper camera bag. So I have here the uh, Low Pro Tahoe BP150. Um, it's a brilliant bag. It's uh, pretty small but for what I, for the gear I have it's, it's really quite perfect. Um, so if I open it up here, you'll see that on the inside there are there's one big pocket up here and lots of dividers which are adjustable to what you need. I put my camera here with the kit lens and my long lens just here and then I can put accessories like spare batteries, uh, lens caps, um, lens hoods if I need them. I can put that all in here and change this up depending on what I need to bring with me. 
In here uh, you can put a lens cleaning kit or basically anything else that might not fit in here um, or in the front pocket which is also really helpful. Let me show you. Um, so you can see there are a bunch of little pockets things for pens, um, you can even fit an iPad or a tablet in here, um, a little clip here for whatever you need and you can basically put all your non-photography items in there um, and then there's also a pocket here. On the side you can see there are water bottle holders on both sides um, so for a water bottle or for a tripod or a monopod um, and yeah it's a great bag it's really light um, it's quite small so you can definitely fit um, probably a decent sized DSLR you, I think when it comes to long lenses you can't really fit much more than than um, this 70 to 300 but um, experiment with what you have and it, it also goes for a really great price um, about 15 pounds um, in some places once again I'll link it down in the description um, and it's a great bag I highly recommend it for my normal day-to-day -day needs I use this um, this low pro format 140 bag it's really great um, you can see inside it has a strap there's a pocket here and it has two little organizers really not uh, it only can fit um, a, a pretty small DSLR like the 5600 and its kit lens um, and maybe one or two accessories but apart from that um, it's just great to hold um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, there are some pockets on the side, a pocket on the back and one on the top with a little handle so that's really great. So a few tips and tricks that I've learnt uh, in the past few months um, first of all, some things you should definitely bring with you to the airport. Uh, some water, water is essential, um, a water bottle you should bring from home. Um, you might not know if there are any vending machines or shops around, but depending on the time of year and where you are, it can get really hot at the airport. Um, and the worst thing is when you're sweating and you don't have any water, so definitely bring some of that. Um, bring uh, some food, you might be there for a while if you're going to catch a specific aircraft um, so you don't want to get too hungry. Definitely bring some form of ID, obviously in most places plane spotting is absolutely legal but um, some people might think it's suspicious um, and so you want ID just uh, to be prepared for any situation like that. Um, some apps and websites that I use and I think are de highly recommended. First of all, um, spottersguide.net is really helpful. You, it shows you um, so many spots to uh, go to at many uh, major airports. That's These are the spots that I go to in Hong Kong, which is where I'm based. Um, and another app, most of you all know, Flight Radar 24 is it's the best one out there they're not necessary i highly recommend um, that you pay a bit extra for the gold membership um, because it gives you that extra information that is really helpful and quite interesting um, uh, as i mentioned before i definitely consider purchasing a lens cleaning kit your lens could get scratched it could be damaged if you don't clean it properly and take care of it so that's really quite essential and I highly recommend it. Um, I'll put the one I use in the description below. Uh, as I mentioned before, I'll also put all of the gear that I've mentioned in this video in the description below. So that's it guys, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for listening, that's all the gear I've used. Um, do find me on Instagram, I'm at Gemini Aviation. Um, and any questions you have, you can DM me there or you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.